One thing I love about Quasar is that a lot of its components are just quality of life components. So a lot of them are kind of like cool things following the material design spec, but then you've got stuff like the Q pop-up proxy that just makes everything a lot more pleasant to develop. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's create a Q dash button here and give it a label equal to proxy me mate. And there we go. And then I can say here, color is equal to accent, just so it stands out a little bit more. And there we go, we've got our button. Now what we can actually do is put a pop-up proxy inside of that button. Q dash pop-up dash proxy, and it's automatically going to attach itself to this button. Then I can put anything I want in there, like a cue card, cue card section, and then just throw some lorem ips in there. Oh, make sure I get that right. Lorem, save it. And now when I click on this button, we get that menu showing up. But the cool thing about a pop-up proxy is it basically says, if you're on a larger device, give me a menu. But if you're on a smaller device, so let's go Control Shift I, and then click on the mobile button, and now when I click on there, it is a dialogue instead, which is really cool because on a mobile device, that is a way better viewing experience. But if you're on a larger device, you probably just want a menu showing up so that it's not too intrusive on the page. Really, really cool and a nice use of space there. So I love using the pop-up proxy. That's pretty much it. So I'll just show you a couple of other bells and whistles around it and we'll finish this video up. Of course, we can do stuff like context menu. So if I save that, Clicking on it won't open up the dialog. I now need to right click on it, and then that gives us the menu. So this is particularly useful, for example, if you have a Q-list, Q-item, and then we'll go Q-item-section, and we'll just say one, and I might actually make this clickable as well. So let's say one, two, and three, just so we've got a simple example we can play around with. Save that, and now when I click on there, with a right click, we get this list. So that might be useful if you've got like an area and you wanna right click and have a context menu show up. But if we're on a mobile device, we can't right click. So it allows us to long click. So if I long click that, we get this menu. And that looks a bit bad because we need to wrap it in something like a Q dash card or set the background color to white. So let's try that now. And there we go. Now it works. How cool is that? We can also set the breakpoint. So we might want to say, for example, breakpoint is equal to 600 pixels. And now, if I go to over 600, so this is over 600, right click, then we get the context menu there like that. But if I go smaller, we get the dialog. How cool is that? So basically, we have more control by setting the breakpoint ourselves. And there is one more thing I wanted to point out. We can also add any properties that we have on a dialog or a menu. Any of those properties are actually proxied down using the pop-up proxy. So it doesn't just proxy whether or not it's a dialog or a menu, it will actually proxy the props as well. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say transition dash show, and we set that to flip dash up. And we'll do one for hide as well. Maybe hide can be up and then show can be down. Save it, right click, and there we go. It works, how cool is that? And that transition show and hide is also going to work on a dialogue. So let's refresh the page here. Hmm, looks like some of those updates aren't taking. Save it. All right, there we go, it's working now. So then in a dialogue, that's working. But then when we go to a smaller size, Okay, so I did actually pause the video there and figure something out. It looks like sometimes when you set the breakpoint, you might have to restart your server. There might be some problems with hot module reloading there. But now when I right click on here, I get a menu. And then when I make it smaller, I get a dialogue. So just keep that in mind. When you set the breakpoint, you might have to restart your dev server, which isn't a big deal because it's not a number that you'll be changing a lot. So there you go. That's the Q pop-up proxy. See you in the next one.